Lembachik and Charmaine Khata, aka Big War and a whole bunch of other AKAs. The Sobering Podcast, Season 8, Episode 7. Ooh, 8's my lucky number. Talk to him. Yeah. Kobe! It's the God episode. Kobe! Kobe! <laughs> Crazy! Crazy 8! Hey, I was Big Fred, aka Sati Skin, cause I. I got that phone. Foam! Oh, yeah. I was wondering, I was wondering where it's gonna go. Yeah. I was like, is the guy gonna say he's, he's in the back? I thought she was gonna say, I'm bathing in foams. Oh, that's oh, that's the, the writing room is going crazy. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's the writing good. room, the writing room. Yeah. Shout out to that's the writing good. room. The writing room, by the, the way, by the way. By the way. He keeps up with it. Yes, sir. And we got a special guest, by oh, the way. Oh, she's so amazing. <laughs> yeah. So great. I'm, I'm, here, I'm here too. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Do it right. Give her, give her an <laughs> intro. <laughs> the lip gloss philosopher. Popping. <laughs> a voice of a generation. La, la, la. An on-air voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, You're yeah, fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried saving you, my girl. No. I just no. I tried. Hi, I'm Philalala. You're welcome. Shout out to Philalala. Welcome Lala. to the show, Philalala. Welcome I'm, to the I'm show. I was trying to sing it, and I was wondering if the Lala's fit. They, they do fit in the Fuji La joint, ne? Ooh, la la la. Yes, sir. Fila la la. Yeah. But like, you have two la la. Fila la la. There's one la la in the first, in the. You know? There's a fila. La la. Yeah. Fila la la. Yep. La la. So, yeah. Fila la la. Yes. Do you hear my nose? I hear uh, yeah, I mean, don't hate, don't hate. What's up, what's up, my show me? Feature, feature, feature. Maybe. What's going on? What's going on? I'm good, y'all. I feel good, you know. Got an album coming out soon. Ah, la, la. Mm. Got singles out, you ah, know la, la. what I'm saying? Got videos on rotation. On the local landscape. Mm. Talk to them. Okay. I want you to talk that talk. That's all I do is pioneer. <laughs> Pioneering. CDJs. With my Miriri. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Oh, man. I think, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This intro. Yeah, you should have yeah. done your intro yourself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the this best intro thus yeah. far. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's too, um, too, too much. Also, it's like Kaza. Let's, yeah. Listen. Yeah. Are you the Kaza? Are you the Kaza? Yeah. Uh, my mom is. Yeah. But, I mean, like, you know. I rep. I rep, though. I rep. Yeah. I rep where my parents are from. I told you. I Ain't nobody work from the Kaza, dog. She's not I from Lakaza. She originates. Dog, she's a product. I originate of, uh, from yeah, Lakaza. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's man. Okay, there yeah. isn't on the block out there. Learn not to have. Yeah, I'm not on the IG. I'm not this one. I'm not this one. I'm not this one. Say some. No, actually, no. No, no, no. Val showed me mad love the last time I was there. That's what we do. That's what we do. Val has mad love. Spread love. Let us book away. The forecasters. Please. The forecasters. You know. Yo, let's go. Let's go. No ways. You know. These niggas. But we here for the pioneer Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm on. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Pioneer, yeah. no CDJs. Oh, <laughs> that went over my head. My bad. Shout out to Pioneer, though. Pioneer Unit and all of that. Yo, Fee. Yo. I don't know if we, you want to start this off. Do you want to start it off from the, from the beginning? Drum magazine style? Or do you want us just to go straight into the music? Uh, or the, be, the beginning meaning... The, be, the beginning the meaning... The beginning in the start. <laughs> in the start. Like out the womb? No, okay, okay, maybe not that start. That's maybe a couple weeks later. I think a, couple, a, couple, a couple of years, years later. later. A couple of years later. Your, your formative yeah. years, which were abroad, uh, maybe right. we can start. We can start there and and. Oh, and little research, you try me a little bit of. Ah, that's a good research. All right, all right. Okay. Um. Yeah. 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 I I spent the first ten years of my life overseas because my dad was a diplomat, and. Dipset. Yeah, I lived in Los Angeles and Indonesia, in Jakarta, tons. Indonesia. Yeah. And then, yeah, I didn't really want to like be, well, I wanted to be an artist because I was writing songs from like nine years old. But I was like, it was shaky. I, I come from like that type of family that values certain types of careers, mm-hmm. you know? So they were like, she's going to be a lawyer. Mm. And oh, very academic. Yeah, you yeah. know, African parents, especially like 
post about it. They, they weren't playing about our education. Like, truth, they truth, were not right. playing about it. So, you know, I was reluctant. And then, I was supposed to be an accountant. He was supposed to be a lawyer. Well, not lawyer. <laughs> I got my law degree. Same book. Come on, Come man. On. Nigga, bum. Nigga, bum. You really like that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't using that shit though. Mm. <laughs> Me, I mean, it's still, it's still, still open in life, you know. I've yeah, got, exactly. Yeah. I, the degree doesn't expire. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, it's coming through where it needs to for sure. Definitely. Mm. But we digress. Um, so the parents wanted you to go into academic lane, right? Mm. So I finished school. I studied law. But even when I was studying, like, I was in a band. I was like recording little songs for SoundCloud, and then. When I graduated, I was like, Ish, I need to give this like a real try because like anything could happen, you know? Word. And yeah, by 2019, I was like, okay, I'm going to give this a real try. Yeah. A real, real try. But that's interesting that you're, par- I'm, I'm obviously going to show how much I know about you here. I mean, but I think on your mom's side. Yeah. There was a, uh, one of your granddads was a musician or something like that. He sang in like, the church choir. That's a musician. Both my, gra- <laughs> both my granddads musician. actually sang in their church choirs. Shout out to the church choir. Yeah. Shout out to the granddads. You know? Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, no, there is like some... Vocal ability running through your veins. Yeah. Yeah. But it definitely skipped my parents. That's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. That's why they were all academic way. Right. Exactly. But, Which Yeah. I- which is dope because you do you do mention that like uh you don't you don't regret like um studying and finishing yeah. off your 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 degree uh you said it was also like to honor your pops if I'm not mistaken definitely yeah I think like that's all he really ever wanted and I'm really I'm I'm glad I did it I learned so much like even outside of academics I really like learned so much about because I mean uni is like a little you know ecosystem right little like microcosm of like real life somehow Mm -hmm. obviously it's not all the same experiences and all the same responsibilities but you know yeah like I I wouldn't trade that experience for anything it was traumatic (laughs) but I did it what uni yes where did you go how so (sighs) my bad too many questions at the same time pick one (laughs) pick a box okay where did you go go? and And why was it traumatic or how was it traumatic it's in it Teflop Oh really oh, The turf Oh Shout out to the turf Is that the one teflop. Yeah that's, I mean that's oh, no, Teflop but yeah, yeah. Oh, no, That's hate, what Skim Sum is based on Oh wow Oh god yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the turf That's why I was like yeah. Teflop oh, I want the turf And Skim Sum That's why I was quiet though You know Yeah <laughs> Yeah so I mean look Shout out to mm. turf Turf showed me mad love When I was starting out With recording and everything So I have nothing mm. Really like that bad To say about turf but like it was definitely a different world from what I was yeah. used to. Like a different yep. world. I mean, it's kind of a different world from like the real world. No, but even for like people that live in Pulukwani, like yeah. it's still a How different type of place. How crazy is it? You guys are like, making it sound like it's crazy. It's, it's got a life of its wild. own. It's, it really does. Yeah. It what, really what does. What is that life? Like, if yeah. you could explain it, and and you how? cannot explain turf. I don't know. Can you explain turf? I, I, Did I you don't go think to turf? I could. No. No. <laughs> so you just party that turf. I know Tef Like it's one of those You know In yeah. Tef like basically Lua Homo Sishero Tef Maybe Malachi mm. Those are like you know The places with I mean unt- Until you go further up north To Bovenda and wherever mm-hmm. But Tef Inda Yeah it's one of those Because it has the student um, Life around it So it's always a buzz Unlike many places oh. right. Yeah so it's mm. a student town so But like still Oakland there's Park. like Families and yeah. Whatever And it's a buzz yeah. Mm. So how was that traumatic? I... No, oh my goodness. Because things <laughs> happen there. Things happen there. It's not just like about like the place itself. It's it's just, I don't know. I literally cannot narrow it down. Like, And I'm sure anybody who went there can tell you the same thing. But that's it's crazy. Hard. So you came back from overseas. Mm-hmm. And where did you go? You came to Joburg or Pretoria. Pretoria. Did you high school in Pretoria? Or... I did. Yeah, I okay. went to Willow Ridge High School. Oh, okay. So, so there was at least like a, Ridge, yeah. a South African, at least like a buffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay. Yeah, no, that, those are two extremes. Yeah, because I was yeah, like, like, like you you I love you. I... So, wait, is, is it, uh, I'm guessing that the Pretoria is more... What is it? Is is it a more, more cosmopolitan? Yeah, more cosmopolitan, yeah, more cosmopolitan than 
than turf. Yeah, for sure. Mm. And for then, sure. like in, in terms of like the the, the different dynamics, different nation the turf on because you know, like a uh, Pretoria get rainbow. There's a couple of white people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's is white people in Limpopo. Pause. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, man. I will say this: I didn't have the best experiences with them. They are wild over there. Yeah. They're they're a little. They're little, I think they they've like marinated in their racism. Like this Whoa. wild over there. Like because yeah, it's. Wild, I mean, man. the, the they, further you go from the big cities, it gets like that. Right. Though. They've mm, got their yeah. their pieces of land that they stick to, and their people, and they don't like beautiful pieces of land as well. Shout out to South Africa, yeah. all of you, South Africa. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to land. Yeah. I hope we see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hectic. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> Oh shit! You know what, man? It should never be on the floor. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, chalatea tamai. No bags on the floor. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So in terms of like now, you you're in bands and whatnot. Um, at that point in time, uh, are you also doing the modeling vibe as well? Because I know you you also did modeling. Um, is this when when is this with the music, the studying, and the modeling? What are the timelines? It's there? happening all at once. It's mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. happening all at once. Yeah, the modeling, ooh, that came out of nowhere too. I was just like on Instagram having a good time, and then um, Komuto Moloto, she was working at Sunday Times at the time. She was like, "Oh my gosh, like you're so pretty. You should come to Joburg and do a shoot." And then, yeah, yeah, that was that. That was a different life. That was a very different life. This was after uni? Oh, were you During. So I was like traveling. Like, oh. Yeah, back and forth to do to do modeling jobs. And then I'd come back and I'd do a gig with the band. And then I'd have to find some time to study. Like, How did your parents find that? The up and down? Did they know about it? Uh, I think they were just happy that I was making some money. Because... Oh. I had I was booking pretty like big jobs for my first modeling jobs. I was like I wasn't booking my two point four. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like my two point four. Yo, my two point four is no, for, keep no. pushing. It's better, baby. Yeah, keep pay, pushing. Pay your models, guys. Mm. Pay your models. It's I actually know, hard work. Two point four I'm, is so I'm, random. Did you <laughs> see two point four? Like at least two point five. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody point one, says, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Something to text. Yeah, you know, yeah. I know I might be stepping back. I said what I said. When, <laughs> when you... <laughs> 2. When, 4. when you came back to South Africa. Yeah. Did you or... Did you... Did your parents make sure you kept the language? Uh, Yeah, they did like a good and bad job of that. So like... Uh, I remember... There was a point where they were even trying to teach me Afrikaans. So I was in... Indonesia and I was like no guys no. so you brought me the Tony no no I didn't even take up for that no yeah they they definitely biki, biki like they try like I, I I functionally speak like I can at least have a conversation with like mm. my aunts and my grandparents and stuff but uh, yeah I feel like I could still be better at it for sure yeah yeah did the accent become a thing like when you came back or people like mm, not where you from yes 100% it's so sticky like it's cause I mean look I'm there I'm in America from zero years old until five yeah those are the years you're learning how to talk formative you understand yeah, I, so it it doesn't go away like my brother's worse his accent is like mm. yeah bro I understand he's old, oh, yeah, yeah, you are the last yeah. one so yeah, he's old, yeah. yeah. I no. understand coming to Pretoria but how how the accent in Teflop, how is that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, how was <laughs> that's the trauma. You're from the landmark. That's the trauma. What's up? What's up? The nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did they did they do that though? Were you Yeah, yeah. Mm. They did. But you know, I was charming. I was charming. I think people like liked me. People admired my individuality actually. Oh, nice. So yeah. That's dope. Did you make friends out Chama there. Did you make friends? I did. I actually met best friends out there. Two of my oh. best friends. Yeah. Like That's I made pretty meaningful bonds out there for sure. Oh, that's dope. Mm. And then that's when dope. did the music take like the front seat? Officially 2020 Because I thought We were all gonna die 
Because of COVID. Yeah, yeah we're with you. We're <laughs> no, 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 Give my two cents there. Then Mike Colombo found me on Instagram. I was singing. I was doing singing videos and then Mike Colombo found me on Instagram and he was like, yo, I used to live in South Africa. I've been trying to find a South African artist. Let me produce your EP. Who is this? Mike Colombo. Who is Mike Colombo? He's a producer and a label manager um, out in Atlanta. And yeah, like it was so random. We never met in person, but we were like making so much work mm. together. To this and day, you haven't met him. Yeah, to this day. Crazy. Not so, in person. So, so you had a, a studio set up where you record yourself? Yeah. So he just sent beats? Yeah. And and then I would give him ideas for beats and he would try to execute them based off of like what I was trying to, you know, give. Fire. Yeah, it was like foreign exchange. You know that bad yeah, 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 it was like that. Yeah. Oh, nice, man. And Fee, tigolo, tigolo, when you choose tigolo. to start making music. <laughs> or piccolo. No, Tigolo. Oh, yeah. Fee, Tigolo, Tigolo, Tigolo. <laughs> oh, okay. Because <laughs> when you start making music and looking at the landscape in South Africa, where you're not sort of like, somewhat like doubtful about R&B and... Well, so so the plan was not really to like... Uh, get, yeah, it wasn't like at all. I was sort of like... I don't know. I mean, this is what I've always wanted to make. This is how I hear myself. So let me just do this. I don't care if like five people listen. And then that was like the opposite reaction. So It's always when you don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Because once you start like caring too much, you start getting into like, start making decisions that don't... About the reception. When you care too much about, about the reception. About the reception. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like it, you start making decisions that actually aren't... Yeah. You. You. And... People and people can sense that in music. Yeah, they can. True. Yeah, you 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 often hear some like guys trying to be like my man, mm. you know. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, no, I was, I was, I wasn't worried about that. I was just try la 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 la. I'm gonna, mm. you know, your morning invest smells like flowers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and then my Colombo, the village guy. Um, yeah, we're still like good friends. Um, but yeah, like, you know, it's one of those things like you you kind of just move on. You move on, yeah. But so the first, that first project, uh, Philosophy. Like, philosophy, the one with the almost green. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's the one, that's the one he, he did. He produced all of it. Oh. Love it. Shout out to Mark Colombo. Yeah. Shout out beautiful to Mike. project. Really beautiful. Atlanta, project. Magic City. And I get even like, <laughs> what? Oh, wow! This, 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 you just shout out at the strip club. Y'all showing your ass. Carly Park, <laughs> yeah. Decatur, yeah. All y'all, yeah. Decatur Jones. The <laughs> you see the six? Yeah, the six. Zone six. Oh, the, right. oh. yeah. See zone six. <laughs> zone six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the old six though. But anyway, we digress. Yeah. <laughs> so like even like just constructing that 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 project, um, in terms of. That execution it was all you in terms of also just slotting in your friends with the voice notes and yeah and things of that nature and yeah yeah definitely I don't know I like I said it was just like it it was pouring out of me and like I yeah it, that project demanded to be what it is so mm. all these like little ideas I was like oh my gosh yeah let's just let's just do that too because I mean who knows like I said I thought the world was gonna end. <laughs> Mm. So I was like, no, 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 no. Let me like so just have fun. If the world is ending, why are you making an album? I was about to ask, who are you making the it? album for? People they, in they, bunkers. The next yes. day, the next <laughs> civilization. Yes, yeah. bunker people. Listen, mm. eat your canned tuna to mm. some on air. <laughs> <laughs> and and Mike didn't want to sign you. <clears throat> um. As a label manager, I'm sure you tried to. Or is he you pitching down. you to other labels? No, you as know well, what? Yeah. I think like he he knew, I was so green, mm. like I was so new, and I think he he didn't want to be that person that tries to like trap me into something oh, that I don't really dope. fully understand. Like he was always there as more of a mentor, so he he like you know he taught me so much about like my own publishing and my own and ownership of and royalties mm. and this and that and this and that, and he. Always made sure that like I knew that I had an out. That's beautiful, mm. and I really appreciated that about yeah. him. That's good. He sounds Shout like a Mike who knows his trends. 
Yeah. Like, you know what? I can give you this much, but up to that far, point, yeah. right. I don't think that's something yeah. I can do. But yeah. right. here's what you should know. Yeah. Yes, I like 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's beautiful. Like yeah. People who know what they can and can do. Yeah. Self aware. Shout out to Mike. Shout, Shout out, out to Mike. Mike, and Mike and Colombo. Gen Z Hart. <laughs> and then, in terms of, and you wrote the whole. Yeah. And you're still writing your all, all of your music. Yes. Fire, fire. And then when you write, I don't know, I always ask like R&B artists this this question because it's like so many emotions that R&B artists um, explore in their music. Mm. Are you writing from first person or are you also uh, uh, writing like um, other people's stories or mm. is it just solely yours? Vicariously. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's mostly first person, but it's not always like first experience. I think like sometimes I'm writing about things that happened years ago and sometimes I'm writing about things that could happen and sometimes I'm writing about things that are happening. So, uh, but it's mostly first person. So, it's never what experience. happened to your friend? Uh, no. That, so, you go through a lot. So, you go through, <laughs> go through all that. So, you're that, actually making all love that. to Nirvana. All of that. Who said making love? Not making love, but, uh, well, hanging out and exactly. Nirvana. Exactly. Yes. Have you guys never hung out and listened to Nirvana? It's yeah, great. Not, not me. <laughs> so, <laughs> not me. <laughs> so I was I like, this is cap, man. This is this not me. <laughs> oh, shout out to Kurt Cobain. <laughs> shout out to Kurt. It would surprise you how <laughs> fucking good it is. <laughs> shout out to Kurt Cobain. I Rest hope. In peace, Kurt. Listen. Yeah. You know, so yeah, but, um, like so, I was just saying, like all of those emotions that, that in, in philosophy, because it's also your at that time what your in your early 20s? Yeah. Don't expose my age. Oh, I was about to ask, you're in your kids, early 20s now. Listen, these kids think I'm their teens. kin. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> they think I'm one of them. Didn't you not see me try to do the Gen Z heart shit? Oh, that's why you expressed. Me. Gen Z oh, you are Gen Z. I'm not. She's kind of like on the fringe. A grown ass woman. You're in uh, your mid-20s now, ne? Yeah. Uh, that's Gen Z. No, 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 no. It's No. It's like no mid. Oh, we're just old. Or higher mid. So everything just falls in together. Yeah, I'm you guys are like older Gen millennials. Gen Z but to my 97. Oh, we're now oh, 90. So you just expose your age. Oh, my 95. I can't boot. My guy, she's here, man. Leave her alone. <laughs> like I said, these kids mm. think I'm one of them. You're okay? one of them. I mean, that's good, man. That I don't think that's something that I uh, will instantly go away just because of your age reveal or whatever if it's a space that you can tap into <laughs> with the pen like that I mean yeah, yeah. yeah. the like art is the facts, art facts, facts, facts. Facts. Fair, yeah, fair. so she's All 29 facts. I'm not 29. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> worst, bro. First of all, how old are you? I'm old enough. enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 40, old 40, enough, 42, actually. 42. Old 42. enough. I'm kidding. 42. <laughs> See, this is the problem with older millennials. Y'all be picking on younger oh, millennials. Are you a millennial? Yes. Yeah, I, I, still I don't know. Z, you still say Gen Z? Yeah, I still, I th- you're giving Gen Z. He's giving. In a I'm, dope way though I have, yeah. I have a youthful uh, spirit How far are you dope from way? Your cousin who's my friend? Hectic Which cousin? My uh, level Yeah um, What do you mean how far am I from I mean, my level? I mean in terms of age uh, I don't know I, I need uh, to talk three, three, four years I think Oh okay uh, Yeah Okay cool So I, I get uh, where you are That's cool Okay well, I'm not gonna say it. No, don't say it. Yeah. Also, shout out to my level. Yeah, shout out to my level. All Love day. you, babes. Shout yeah. out my libza. Mm. So okay, so you you do philosophy and the reception is phenomenal, like super far. Phenomenal. That <laughs> 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 so, was good. It was really good. It was it was really good. And, and at that time, uh, also there was a bit of a even though like we in SA, but there was like a bit of a. Uh, a boom in R and B at the time, um, yeah. in, in our in our like sort of ecosystem of music, mm. especially yeah, COVID one of the was the best a, times for R and B. Yeah, yeah. COVID was, yeah. like yeah. The, the, the pandemic was a, a was. good time yeah. for R and B. Each other, you know what I mean? Yep. Like it yeah. was like yeah. really, That's true. it was like a really really nice. Mm. Like it was almost like a a boom, an R and B yeah. boom. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's true. Yeah. Yeah. in their feelings. It was yeah. an R and boom. Yeah, yeah. R and boom. Yeah. And I mean, okay, some were super consistent, and and I guess you also fall in the lane of of you being super consistent because there was a follow up um, uh, EP mm. but then like what was that uh, 
that moment where you're like, okay, cool, people really mess with this, so I'm actually going to give them more. Or is that is this the moment where you're saying, okay, this is going to be a fully-fledged career, so I have to really equip myself to mm. go the distance for it? Yeah, okay, well, I mean, this kind of goes back to, like, finishing my degree, because I think before then, I was not, like, I didn't finish things. Like, I was really, like... Uh, I mean, I, I can say no, but sometimes it was like not the right time to say no to things or like it didn't show a lot of character and a lot of follow through. Mm -hmm. So finishing the degree was like, okay, I have follow through. And then it was like, hmm, I have this really cool EP that I released. Like people are asking for more. It's been, you know, a year and whatever. And I was like, let me just, also I was going through some shit. At the time, too. So it was like, I have to just make this music. I have to get it out of me. Um, but yeah, I think after philosophy, it was like, I could I could try this. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm going to end up, but this is kind of the validation that I need to keep going. Dope. Yeah. And was it the same workflow for the second EP or did you no, was, explore new people, work with other people, reach out to new yeah, I, I definitely worked with some other people, other producers, and I don't know, like, that was my real sad girl era, like... Post-pandemic. Yeah. Um, even the EP, I mean, the, the stuff that you explore there as well is a bit... Yeah, because, like, I mean, I, I had lost friends, relationships, family members, like, it was very dramatic, mm. and that's why it's so, you know... Moody and ambient and like, because that was really Which like where to. I was. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I, I yeah, I, I do think it could have been a little bit happier, but people love that EP. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I kind of hate it now. Like, but people really, yeah, they resonate with it. They resonate with the vulnerability that I give. Yeah. That's fire. Um, Before we went to the album, I just want to just check, listening back to like your first EP philosophy mm. and then the album now how do you feel about philosophy mm. great question I hate it really? what I'm so serious I have like I think I told somebody the other day that I haven't listened to philosophy like right through in like three years like mm. top song to bottom song I had in three years because I'm so over it I've grown so much since then but I also understand why philosophy needed to exist for me to make this album yeah and I appreciate that for what <laughs> It is in that respect, but like, I'm so over it. When you have to Damn, like, perform you know I mean? songs from it, like, how does that feel? Oh no, I love performing the songs because okay. what I, I perform with my band, so we you jazz it up. We yeah, we just we take it somewhere else. Like people have been starting to notice like the differences between the recordings and the live versions of the songs, and Beautiful. they're like, oh my gosh, I love the live version more, and and this, you know. So I love being able to revisit them in that regard, but. Mm -hmm. I, but you can't I'm listen to so, the product as is. No, I'm like, psh, okay. I'm, I don't know. I'm in a different solar system at this point. Fire. And then yeah. the second one? Same thing. Damn. Same thing. I guess more so because of those emotions, I guess. Yeah, those are like really gone. Yeah. Like, but I think that one is understandable. If it was a dark space and seeing mm. how light and happy you mm. are now mm. and... I think also the time we were all dark. Yeah, we are all coming yeah. from a dark space. Right, you know? like, yeah. Yeah, hey. the pandemic it, exposed it was, yeah. so much yeah. and it was just, it just like... just led into sadness in the world. Yeah. yeah. So it let you over it. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm so... I really... Show me, I'm so glad I survived that. Yeah, like, no. I'm so glad we all did. Oh yeah. my gosh. When you needed happy music, you said more sadness. Mm, more sadness. But, but I mean, well, philosophy was happy music and it was also in the... In the yeah, it's not like if it didn't pandemic, exist. You know? Yeah. And it still has the that that shot of experience because Defiant is like very pick me up. I is love it? that. Yeah, that last joint like it really is like there's a lot of encouraging. Did you not intend it? You should hear, you should hear the live version. It's amazing. Yeah, that's that joint is fire. I mean, it's yeah, no, very very encouraging. And it, it, I I'd compare it to another song from another artist, but 
I mean, you know what I'm saying? No, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that because I'm a Leo. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Nah, you're Leo here. Fire sign. <laughs> Fire upon them. <laughs> ben. Yeah, um, so, ben. Ben. <laughs> but that's a joint that will get you through a lot, I think. It's like one of those joints. I've, I've heard like, that quite a bit. It's, yeah. it's so surreal. Like, people will really come up to me after shows and tell me that a song, like, got them through homelessness or. Like you know what I mean? Like to have that type of connection with people. Damn homelessness. Is, homelessness. Is where like, were they listening? Yeah, is, where would they be listening? The iPod at in the streets. On the streets with an iPod. Guys, crazy. you know homelessness, homelessness doesn't always look like <laughs> on the street. It doesn't always look like what we see on the streets. I mean, people really? experiencing it's homelessness. A yeah, I thought like Skid Row. Yeah. No Guys, man. You know that homelessness in that lady layers, right? Yes. Who tell us that? Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. I agree. There's like obviously there's the like you know the dirt poor homelessness that we see where it's like oh, you can oh, tell you guys this talking person about like couch surfing. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're talking about like couch between surfing. Places. What's between, between places? places. Okay. We're talking about like okay, maybe getting kicked out by your family for like being queer or you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm talking about. Oh, like, bet. So, oh, you know, okay, so, but yeah, we're going to let pop. Sorry, come on, really sorry. I love you, Roshay, but you're not like... I was going to leave. I was going to leave. Leon, Leo, man. It's just like, it's just like, it's just like, I can't stop. I can't 180, but when? <laughs> okay, cool. I understand homelessness now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's fine because in your catalog, you, ha- you do tap into, it's not just, uh, I'm so heartbroken or oh I'm so in love there's, there's a lot of also like those in between existential type of, of moments and mm-hmm. philosophical mm-hmm. moments as well so I, I really really enjoy that about about mm-hmm. your writing which is like where where did that come from because you also mentioned that you've you've been writing to, since like pre-10 years old you yeah, know yeah yeah how, how did that even begin what exposed you to writing music like that Disney Channel Hannah yeah. Montana Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana. Okay, yeah, like for real cheetah though. Girls. The cheetah girl, exactly. My nigga. Exactly. You see, you get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Three LW in them. Listen, yeah. like for real though, Raven Simone was the songwriter of the group. Yeah. And like, I loved Raven. Like, I still love Raven. I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I forgive her for everything. That's Raven, all right. I forgive you for everything. Um, no, for That's real. <laughs> what she say? She said she's been famous longer than Beyonce. She said that? Okay, actually, no. We're not talking about Raven right now. Well, we're talking about Raven, but we're talking about Raven's character. <laughs> really good. And yeah. in the Cheetah Girls, like... Yeah, yeah, Just that. Just that thing. Even, like... I don't know. Even cartoon characters, like, as told by Ginger, writing in diaries, keeping diaries. Like, that was something that was really popular in, like, preteen girl shows or girl movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that was, like... I thought that was normal. I thought, mm-hmm. like, if you go to your room and start writing shit down like that's that's what everybody does that's what everybody else is doing and then I just never stopped doing it mm. Mm. and then that uh, what's that cartoon here under, under 3000 yeah, class oh, of 3000 yeah yes class Did of 3000 uh, no okay. uh, the class of 3000 but shout out to that show though yeah, yeah it was really really good but no yeah no uh, I'm a bit older for it but yeah it was, it was cool when I could watch I'm saying me I was oh, older okay yeah. Okay. What did you guys watch, actually? Yeah, man, I love Ooh. That's me. That's my bag. Yeah, man. that's Cabo Luz Berry. Everything. Hey, Arnold. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I thought you were going to say, but like, okay, me. <laughs> Same page. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hey, Arnold. Kids next okay. door. Yeah. Mad I, I like the dry joints, like Pepper and Doug. Okay, Pepper and oh, Doug. Doug. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool. I mean, Disney's got like Doom Cafe as well. I like Recess right. as well. Recess. Recess uh, is amazing. Get is, a, is yeah. a goat. Vince is a goat. Yeah. Vince is a goat. Fat Dog Mendoza. Oh. Those is dope. Okay. It's my cool. Super Lamy was actually underrated for me. <laughs> my Super Lamy. More recent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so them like the Con Con. Regular show, like right now, is like, I still yeah. go back to regular show because it's also on the Am I the only well. person that liked Adventure Time more than regular show? No. No, no, no. Uh, that was not. like the, the, the competition, actually. Am I the Jake and Finn I think, I think, I think, I think, I think <laughs> Adventure Time got to me first. I think that was the really? issue. Yeah, yeah, but Adventure Time was ha- had a lot of super adult themes. So did regular yeah. show, right? It did, but yeah, Adventure that's Time true. Time was really, really, really... It really that's wasn't true. for yeah. It really it was, wasn't, it for wasn't a kid's kid show. Like, that's so true. Yeah. A regular show for me just had like the best one-liners, you know? Okay. Yeah, it, did. Like, it, it was know, funny. And who has okay. better one-liners than me? 
Yeah. Mom, mama. Yeah, my muscle man. Shout out to muscle <laughs> man. Okay, now I hear you. Shout out to muscle man. Muscle man, yeah. Benson and them. Them the guys, yo. Okay. Yeah, Samurai Jack, shout out to you too. I like that shit. I just mm. like the soundtrack to that. Yeah. The opening yeah. track. The other Steven soundtrack Universe. is good. Yeah. Yeah. Steven Universe Samurai. is cute. Steven. Also, the soundtrack, what is still dead on that song, I still love it to this day. The, from the first season, the OST, there's a song by Estelle on there. Yeah, because oh she's Garnet, right? Yeah, she's Garnet. Yeah. Did you say the OST is in the original soundtrack? Yeah. What? Yeah, okay. original soundtrack. What? <laughs> nah, man, just thinking about it, man. Nah, actually, regular yeah. show might be good. Remember they had the battle with like Gambino and them? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, no, no, nah. You've been like festering in the middle yeah, of the corner. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 regular yeah, yeah, show, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. Like, just, yeah, man. Monica and Rigby forever. Okay, I hear yeah. you, though. Yeah. I get but it. also, Nicki Minaj was on Steven Universe. See, she was. Yeah, she yeah. was when Garnet and really um, Amethyst this. would like combine. I just didn't like the way they combined. Cause like with, uh, with Garnet Amethyst. would have to like open her legs and then yeah. Amethyst would try. also like, also that's another ad- yeah, adult thing there. Yeah, there's an adult about, thing there about yeah. Garnet being lesbian. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. There's nothing, well, what's adult about sexual like sexuality? I mean, what's adult about sexual? <laughs> I mean, like sexual orientation. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good question though. I guess it's a tough these days, question. Yeah, I, these days, yeah. Yeah. These days, yeah. Tricky. Also, tough. Stephen Universe is uh, people be gay. gay. Yeah, the kids Stephen should know. Universe. People be gay. I don't think it's tough. <laughs> people be gay. It's normal. Yeah, okay. have you seen the uh, the episode when Steven meets his lover at the beach? No, I Whatever. haven't. Oh, really? Wait, Steven's gay? Yeah, Steven is gay. Shout out to Steven. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> this, is, this is going to uh, end <laughs> for me. Can we go back to the music? Shout out to my nigga Steven. <laughs> but yo... Cartoons are, are forever, man. And I shout I, out I, to you, Steven. And I think Only I think I, a lot of people also get a lot of cues yeah. from from that. You know, one hundred percent. We mm. need cartoons. Yeah, we talk to cartoons. the animals, man. Wild Thornberry style. You know what I mean? <gasps> Wild Thornberry. Come on. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I might be the only like. I think like Nickelodeon might have my heart a little bit more than Disney with certain shows because Nickelodeon oh. had Wild Thornberries and Rugrats and, Rugrats. and, Rugrats. and Hey Arnold and, and hey As Told Arnold. by Ginger, which guys, As Told by Ginger is a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, the cartoon. Nah, I, mean, I, was, was, you know, I thought she was like DCC yeah. man. They had me. You know what yeah. DC? What, what they had? Proud Family, yo. Yeah, they had Proud Family. Proud okay. Family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They had Proud Family and they had Raven. And The, the Weeknd Return of Proud Family. I'm ready the for one, The Weeknd. The what? The yo. Return of Proud Family yeah, is not the, the one. Yeah, The Return of Proud Family. Yeah, yeah. 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 I did yeah. try to watch yeah. it. I was like, like yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna I, give it a proper shot. I didn't give it a proper, proper shot. Yeah. But it's not for us. I think that's why it's not for us. Fair. It's not for us. It was a it was a it was a pacifier in the time that it happened, the return. There was a lot happening with the Black Lives Matter, whatever. Just like the whole resurgent of it was leaning on to too many other things. Mm. I think that's why it didn't land. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and and then, I just yeah, couldn't you know, finish the episode. And you know, Val got the best cartoon right now, you know. Welcome to Mvango. Shout oh. out. Better than Nukuma Shaba. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to Mvango. Check it out. Better than Nukuma okay. Shaba. Welcome to Mvango. Check it to Mvango. out. Check Nukuma Shaba. But back okay. to the music. Back to- <laughs> Zanzi's got magic too La Causa <laughs> We have that too We have that so La Causa two got a little one. Too much magic you know? Exactly yeah. Yeah. Uh, You know <laughs> Can you guys talk about The right kind of magic though Yeah The right kind of yeah. 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 I swear <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah. When y'all talking In the north man yo. I don't know man. Hey, yo, Shout out to the music First though <laughs> <laughs> no, clear it, clear it. Because yeah. I see where Giz is trying to go. It's yeah, not that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're ah, not going nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you trying to say? I say what I say, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Let him rock him to hell. Yeah, I know. We're going to start wars here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, boo. Speak to me. When you struck my Nike, you like my Nike. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. My yo. <laughs> Kinda, whose song is that from? <laughs> Which struck by lightning. <laughs> there's a song. Anyhow, there's no lightning here. Go ahead. But when J. Cole was born, the lightning was going. Yeah. There's a stop. Oh my word. Anyway. <laughs> I'm over it. Anyway. La, 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 anyway. La, la. Let's get back to the music. Back to the music. I mean, in terms of okay, cool. You you put out the the two EPs and then now you in this sphere, and I'm mm-hmm. sure you're getting. All of the probably f- from the first EP actually you get mm, all of offers. these offers calls. Can we do business? Can we do coffee? Some legit, <laughs> some scammers. I got beads. Now you have to sift through all of this, you know. 
Yeah. How did you navigate that space to find yourself here? Were you comfortable with a partnership, with a, you know, conglomerate, you know, working your, your project as well? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, if some of these niggas, you got to beat off with a stick. Like, could just, you know. Pause. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make a pause. If you're holding this stick here and I'm going to put a back up pause, actually. <laughs> no, because... And your pause, nigga. I've always... You know what? Go ahead, go ahead. I've always thought pause was just redundant. But I... I... Anyways. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> she had a real pose yeah, yeah, yeah. A human one Exactly yeah. A real one But no for real There was like a lot of uh, People that I had to be like mm -mm. Your vibe is Your vibe is not right It's just off It's just off You know And I mean like And I wasn't as Strong then As I am now So I'm really like You know Grateful for the people that were Around me at the time Like my family And Mike And like It was just really it helped. It was my armor. And, you know, yeah, like I, I really needed that at the time. And it taught me how to sort of hold myself. And now I'm like. <laughs> That's a zap side. This is audio to zap side. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? You know, now, now I'm just like, oh, dude, like you, yeah, I, I have such a strong sense of self that like. You just can't you can't you can't tell me nothing. La 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 Exactly. You see? Come Come on. On. It works. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like uh but yeah, there's definitely some shaky, faky people up in here, up in this industry. Not up in here, in this industry. Shaky! Yeah, shaky. We, we we nice people. Oh, do you know me nice? No, nice is true. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. Much your nigga. Nice. <laughs> That's us. So, so who you saying you you've got the support of your family and yeah. but who else is advising you through through all of this? I mean, from the business perspective, other than Mike. Uh, well, my partner Zane, my older brother, he's the one that decided to be the lawyer. So you know, he's got me on that front. Mm. Um, the team here at Sony, like you know, and then like myself. That's what's First up. of all, I like to thank me. Shout out, go ahead. Hello, that's new dog. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. No, for real. I, I really have grown and and evolved as a person. And I I had to take a lot of L's to get here. But like, yo, I'm here. Like, I'm really, really here. And I'm really... Her. I'm what? really her. Mm. I'm really <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> so what were those L's if you don't mind I, I, asking? We're not doing <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> now we're, we're, we're trickling into <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, Yo, shout kids. out to well, not shout out to the L's, but well, shout out, to the the L's. L's. shout out to the L's. Also, um, they're important. Yeah. Oh, lessons, you know. Mm, shout out lessons. to the lessons. Yeah, but we're not don't just walk into L's and say like they add into your character. We slam. Yeah, well, true. I think like, yeah, the L must be label. You gotta start yeah. using yeah, 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 like hey, this well, thing, la, intuition, la, that thing in your your gut, it's not lying to you. Label yeah, exactly that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. Yo, yo. I hear it. Here go you, it. dog. Here go your play, dog. Come on, Come on man. man. Come on. Papa Chaneke and I Papa Chaneke and I No, that's when the, I just that's have a little I got a couple of alliterations <laughs> that just go. Yeah. All right. Well, we keep it moving. Right, we keep yeah. it moving. <laughs> So now we hear this dope project that's about to come come out um, on air, and now your single gets like on like BBC and it gets that that sort of nod, you know. Extra BBC one, and it's extra. also on Discover on Vivo. On Vivo, yeah. And how how is that? And like even when 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 you're experiencing, like what was the aim or what do you think got you to that point? Um, I mean, I've, I've I've worked hard, especially like this past year. I've, it's the hardest I've ever worked. So, you know, like you expect to see some sort of turnaround, mm -hmm. some sort of like, you know, result. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy with what's been coming. It just makes me feel closer and closer to, uh, I don't know, like these places that I envision myself, you know. Um, 
but you, yes, it's a lot of work, and sometimes you have to you have to work a little bit harder to like s- stay in the moment mm-hmm. and and like pat yourself on the back and be proud of yourself. Because I don't know, like I don't know if it was. Do you guys know Fiona Apple? Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, there's a video of her that was on TikTok that was circulating where she was saying like, our brains are have like a natural uh, response of like remembering trauma more than like remembering good things because yeah. it's a survival. Like you have mm. to like remember the thing that traumatized you that you survived so mm. that if you it comes it again, again. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So you have to work a little bit harder to sort of like remember good shit. I don't know if you remember albums. She'd have like, back in the day on CDs, they'd have a hidden track. Right. Mm. And she'd sing a song about a traumatic experience. I don't yeah. want to say what it was, but like she'll have like a... Mm. Yeah. It's fire, fire. Yeah, she's so tapped yeah. in. Like, she's yeah. so tapped in. So, yeah, th- it's that. So, I, I'm working on that. I'm working on, like, my one minute of, like, you did that. Like, yeah, cute. Fire. You know, and yeah, like, wow. Shout out to the team at Sony as well for just, yeah, for riding, riding with me on this crazy, crazy journey. Yeah. Um, through the creation of this album and even just through my artistry in general, like, yeah, it's been it's been it's been great. Yeah, I just want to go on to. I mean, looking at you now and listening to past myself, I'm wondering how long ago was it written? Because mm. uh, it's what it speaks of, it's ish. It's very depressed, like a depressed person almost. Not even. Well, it's okay. it's actually, bed. I feel like. I was about to. Yeah. Yeah, but it's more so like. I mean, look, life is not going to just be... Rainbows and butterflies. Right. Mm. So it's, it's, the song is about just reflecting, like, because there's a, there's a point where it's like, okay, in the second verse, there's a completely different tone of Mm. like, Mm -hmm. wait, I'm that bitch though. Like, okay, like Mm. last year they couldn't pick me from a crowd, but this year they blast Lala real loud. But sometimes you need those moments of like... (laughs) I need to lay in bed and think and just like, and then you get up and then it's like, okay, what's up? Like, mm. let's go. And you're yeah. just, and it's self-affirming. And then it's like, so you have to like lose yourself to find yourself. Yeah. That's why I yeah, lost it all my mind, my whole body. Yeah. Okay. Gotta lose yourself to find okay. yourself. Yeah. There's some message. There's something that Mojito asked you about, like how like, R&B in South Africa and blah, blah, blah. And you say something now, like, you're her and you see something about where you see yourself. Where is that? Where do you see yourself? Yeah, I don't know. Just like... Gadi Love Song. Gadi Love Song. Is that R&B? Yeah. <laughs> R&B. R&B. Cool music. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. um, yeah. I don't know. Like, I think after... This album, I'm probably going to be a little bit more explorative. Um, but I I don't know. I've always seen... Geographically explored? Yes, of course. I'm trying to get the hell up out of here okay. and come back yeah. and be oh. like, this is what I learned, y'all. Okay. You know what I'm nice. saying? Yeah. Like, for real. I, I, I believe in that. And yeah, I see myself on major stages and, and you know, collaborating with my idols and all this stuff. But like really... I don't know. SARMB is so, and I think I said this the other day, but I was like, we we are always like in the throes between complete ob- obscurity and then like being visible. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And what I'm trying to do is just like Yeah, it's not like you know we can't like if we if we don't see ourselves and present ourselves as people that can compete on a global level, mm-hmm. we won't. So yeah. I feel like I'm really, that's why I put so much time into the visuals and the writing and the this and the that and exploring of sound. And maybe people don't get it now, but they get it eventually. Like mm. it's always, I I, underst- I I realized very early on that I was going to be that person. Yeah. Um, not that it makes me any better or any less or whatever. It's just that it, it's, I feel it's my personal responsibility. Like it's your purpose. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I feel like it's my purpose to pioneer. I do. I <laughs> genuinely believe fire. that. Fire, fire, fire. Now, speaking about, you know, um, your visuals and pioneering as well, 
I know this 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 offering is going to be extensively visual. Um, take us through through that and your decision to to say, okay, cool. I want my my major release and major full length album to be presented in this manner to have this strong visual presentation as well. Um, okay, so basically as I was making this album, I was like really fucking around with sound design a lot. And I was like, this is, yeah, this is cool. Let me, you know, I was playing around because I wanted it to feel like, I kept on saying, I wanted it to feel like flip, flicking through radio stations on GTA. Oh, <laughs> that's so dope. My nigga. <laughs> so like just that, the randomness of it yeah. and the, you know, like I really loved the blonded radio on GTA 5. So I was like, I really like, like that feeling. Like, I don't know how I'm going to capture that in an album, but like, let's try. Because initially I had had like my first a and meeting here and I was asked like if any of my songs were playing on the radio and I was like half I was like I, I don't know if I was like offended but I was like hmm challenge and so I was like let me create a fake radio station on my album and then you know then it'll be on the radio in some weird ironic way and then and yeah and then it'll be on air and uh yeah, because it was giving movie sonically, it was like a no-brainer for it to give movie visually. It's yeah. also quite a visual reference. Like visual reference. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's very visual. Right, it yeah. is, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, like, I don't know, we... Man, this album has been telling us what it wants to be, for real. Oh, I love that. That's for great. Real. I love that. Yeah, it has. And I don't know, like, it's so hard to execute ideas this big. And I'm I'm a firm believer in, like, things just working out because they're supposed to. So if it, you know, really wasn't meant to be, it just wouldn't have happened. Like, you know, so here we are. Here I am with a debut album that's also a visual album. <sighs> Who the hell do I think I am? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys asked this, but how how does the... Will it all come out together? No. Mm. So, like, we're going to just feed you guys with the music first. Mm. And then we're going to feed you guys with the visual experience. A little bit later. Not too long of a wait. Just mm. a little bit later. Because even though it is the visual album for the album, mm. they still feel like two very different experiences. I can't, I can't explain mm. it. Like... Mm. Um, it's like when you read the book and you watch the movie. Oh yeah, you know? nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, fair. So there'll be a a cinema experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, happy. some that like is, it, some like it, some like it. You know, we we platinum, like platinum like scheming. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, scheming. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's beautiful. I'm like, I'm sorry for stopping out. My mother couldn't stop calling. I'm supposed to be mm. limpo by now. Sorry, guys. What are you doing here? I mean, oh, yeah, no. look, go ahead, oh. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> now, in terms of the visual treatments, I mean, who who are you working with there, or is it just still you and 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 your partner? Yeah, it was me and Dane. Um, Sito, our DOP, was like amazing, and that's like the big three. And then you know, we brought on board like a lot of people. Uh, to make it possible, people that we already knew, some new people, like it was highly collaborative, and we had a we had a bit, quite a, a big team, but mm. yeah, it really started with you know the three of us trying to figure out how to make it happen. And how's that experience? Because I think um, your your I don't want to say your stories, but your your most frequent like creative output a studio like this where you go in the booth you record not having to go to grading seeing visuals post mm. productions and all of that oh just the set with a bunch the of set people set with a bunch of people Some the of writing, writing of the visuals mm. how was that for you? it was great I'm very meticulous so I was I was there for everything I was there for the grading I was there for the editing I was there for, like I I'm very like what do you guys even shoot on because it looks so good man Mm. Thank you. It feels like film or Ari or some ish. Thank you so much. Uh, I actually don't know those details, but <laughs> I will ask for you. 
And yeah, uh, you will know shortly. If he goes into cameras now, it's going to be another mm, one. I'm so no, because I can see. Like, yeah, we are, I'm, I'm glad that you We're don't dealing know. with a bit Ooh. of a... <laughs> 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 wow! Like, yes, I no, can talk the, cameras the for videos long. are amazing. The videos are yeah, really yeah, no, we we much. put everything into that for real. Mm. Yeah, and also like your social media. Yeah, like those little slips. Yeah. Oh my god, those are gorgeous. Yeah. So Thank dope. You. It yeah. almost it feels like you guys like have a budget. Does that make sense? Yeah, none looks cheap. Yeah, nothing looks cheap. Like it could be just a beautiful grade. Oh, what does that look? <laughs> that skills? Look is this great skills? skills? Yeah, it's great skills. Yeah. 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 yeah let's talk it up to great skills. Take it as a compliment, by the budget way. Budget mm. But it looks like you <laughs> got budget. <laughs> <laughs> With budget. You other artists, you don't budget. You say yeah, you other artists, artist, you don't budget. <laughs> yeah. You feel like I've got a team. Yeah. But the team is skilled. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's true, though. Fire, That's fire. That's true. Very that true. budget would have not, it wouldn't have gone... As, as long as a way, did, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If, if people are skilled, exactly. Some madness. Do you get artists that ask you like, "Yo, how you do that? Can you get them to do that for me too?" I mean, I, I, I did say that. Like, I think we're gonna be experiencing a lot of um, people reaching out yeah. once this film is out. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's already started happening. So I can see that outside of GTA now. I, I, I mean, I walked in on GTA. I'm assuming that's like the visual reference. I understand that was blown at radio. It's a Sonic reference. Yeah, Sonic reference. But in terms of like visually, what what were you guys watching? What what was on the mood boards? What were you guys putting on the walls? Which stills yeah. were you looking at? Uh, we were putting up family archives. We were putting up, you know, just like random videos from the 90s. We were putting up stuff that doesn't even have a reference because we... You know what I mean? We were, it was completely out of our heads. Um, yeah, we were just trying to make it like a full blown Fila experience, like something that feels like me and where I'm at right now. So it's got its quirks and it's got its sad girl thing and it's got its moodiness and it's got its vibrant color. And yeah, we just wanted it to. To be a lot. <laughs> mm. Just wanted it to be a lot. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's but so hard cohesive. to explain on air, the visual. Yeah, a lot, but still cohesive. 100%. Oh, okay. 100%. It's, I, it's not I, all over the place. Yeah, I tend to worry about, not even worry about, not like things that are just gorgeous. But For being gorgeous. Yeah, there's no narrative, there's mm. no story, we're not doing I'm anything. I'm the same. I'm the this same. This is gorgeous, but yeah. what are we doing? What are we seeing? Where are we right. going? I'm yeah. not mad at that cool. art for art's sake. Yeah, no, I, of course. No. Love art for art's sake. But I understand what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, but I, I don't think in this regard it would, you know, be justice, do anything justice. Just well, I mean, if you know sake. Fila, you know she don't just be doing anything. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of my artistry is based in, like, deep, meaningful you know, and vulnerable things. Mm-hmm. That's why people fuck with me. Like, they expect that. They True. expect for me to do things with purpose. Reading time. This is reading time, boys. Good mm. morning. Okay, Gio. Oh. What is it? Love, love, love. Nice intuition. Go on, sorry. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's very, it's, it's, it's cohesive. It's mm. cohesive, and it doesn't mean nothing. That's for damn sure. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's a narrative. That's cool. Can't wait to watch it. Thank you. Yeah, can't wait till you guys see it. Can't wait to watch. Can't watch wait to hear the whole hear it, yeah. album, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. Because these two joints is fire. It's super fire. Yeah. I mean, even the videos. Oh, mm. Thank you. The, the world agrees. And yeah, I love them because they're giving two completely different things. Mm-hmm. Like, call me is all pink and mm. girly and bright, and past myself is like. Moody Yes It's like two different sides I, I really mess with that I mean yeah. It, it yeah. kind of gives you a taste Of the fact that You're going to get A lot of moods On the on the album as well Definitely yeah. Definitely In terms of like I mean When you think about I'd say Kendrick Just for an example Now with his album He's like Mr. Morel Now what's your theme What persona are you adopting In this one There is a persona DJ La She yeah is a radio station host that's got a very condescending monotone thing about her. 
Mm. She's always on the verge of quitting. And she's got a request show, but no one ever makes any requests. Oh. <laughs> they just come there to talk about their problems. Mm. So, but yeah, like... Sis Dolly. Yeah, Sis Dolly. Mm. Just mm. much more like robotic. She's kind of robotic. Like she's kind of like, I don't know. She's cool. And which I feel like as Fila, like, I don't know. Like I, I would love to be cool and mysterious and, you know, but I'm so... Use your way vulnerable. And <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm so vulnerable and expressive, and you know, a little like a little cringy sometimes. So she's like not that at all. She's like mm. cool and keeping it together, and you know, DJ La. Yeah, shout okay. out to DJ La. Can't wait to I hate her. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, can't wait to experience DJ La, man. It sounds wonderful. It sounds very uh, well thought out, everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well conceptualized. Everything, yeah, well conceptualized. Things sound considered. And it sounds like things are in the right place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful, I mean, thing to anticipate mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Very brave so, as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the year of doing it scared. I'm sh scared as shit, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah. Right? That's fine. Yeah. I guess that's beautiful. I like uh, you guess <laughs> we wouldn't know if you're scared. Uh, why are you on that phone call? Because you came back with such an apprehensive tone. No, 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 not even, not even. Um, Mama said, "Come home." Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, yo, these niggas need to finish up, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go home. <laughs> Facts. No, I'm kidding. But yo, yeah. shout out. We have to do it scared. Mm. I think because otherwise, you know, the fear will. Right. Prevent you from greatness. And, yeah. Um, I think and like doing it scared is not the same thing as like ignoring gut feeling or, mm. you yeah. know, because I mean, there's that. Like if you have a gut feeling of like, oh, this may not be, you know, but if it's just like your imposter syndrome is kicking in and you're, you know, you're not sure if you're able to step up to the plate or if that you even deserve the opportunity. Like, and how bad does that get? It gets bad. Because you, 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 yo, you're here, dog. Like, so, like, I mean, people get imposter syndrome, like, being a secretary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Literally. it's like, so where you're at is like, yeah. And where you're going from the sounds of it is like, it's not a small feat. So, like, yep. yeah. The imposter syndrome, when it hits you, is probably yeah. like, yeah, it hits tenfold. hard. It hits hard for yeah. sure. Yeah. It hits hard. How you deal with that? I just have a great village, really. And, I also do have sort of an innate ability to know when it's time for that and when it's not. Mm. Like, I'm not going to bring that shit to a performance. I'm not going to bring that shit to something like this. Yeah. I know I know where to put it if it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's good. I wish you could teach yeah. how you do that. People need those pigeonholes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not easy yeah. it's not easy That's compartmentalizing a, is really hard tough skill yeah. Yeah. tough tough tough, tough skill. what I wish like it was like almost like in our design as humans when you get imposter syndrome you get sort of like a light that beams like and then that way we could all see that we all almost suffer from this thing right because when you're suffering it you feel like you're the only one like yo look at everybody and right it's so true and when you hear people speaking these stories I had imposters I'm like ha ah, look at you too mm -hmm. oh. you'd be surprised you'd literally be so surprised even people but that not are but <laughs> okay then Super hectic, super hectic. Okay then. Well, I had feel la la la. Thank you. Thanks, la la. Guys. Nah, nah. Shout Shout out. Do people still call you uh, Fifla by mistake? N no, no, that's that's yeah. that's lessening. That's lessening. Uh, um, so shout, out Fifla, Fifla, shout out to Fifla though. Shout out to Fifla. Mad love always. Mm. Uh, but I understand the confusion. But it's mm. happening a lot less now. That's good. It's happening a lot. Fee la la la. Yes. Shout yes. out to Fifla la. Shout out to me. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so yeah, much for man, having me. You, yeah, super. Thank friends. you for coming. I know this is going to be super dope. Uh, yeah, like yeah. a conceptual album with your yeah, writing yeah. skills, with your vocal skills, and the visual representations. It's going to be a feast for anybody that appreciates music and art at the it, same time. It really is. It yeah. really is. Um, and congratulations on your Metro FM nomination. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, Hello. Shout out. You should have seen me yesterday. I was like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all show up? <laughs> yeah. So, shout out. I mean, like, out to, to more greater heights and more yeah. successes, yo. Yeah. Thank you. Likewise, guys. Yeah, you Likewise. listen to Kato with Tyler. You guys friends? Uh... I, I, didn't know, I don't know about friends, but like we, yeah, we know each other actually. Oh, and it's each other, Fede, Fede, yeah. What? I mean, we don't speak, but like, I mean, I, shit, she's Tyler, like she's, you know, oh. she's Baby, winning. Man. I love seeing her win, you know what I'm mm. saying? So, winning. That's good, yeah, no. Winning. Winning. <laughs> and 19 April, we winning on air. Yeah. Album drop. Go get it, we'll stream, run up the numbers. DJ yeah, Feet. man, run, run that shit up, up nigga. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Come on, man. And vote. Vote for that Metro from work, guys. Yeah. Vote. For, vote. vote for R&B. Voting is Moja. Yeah. Is <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, campaign 94. <laughs> It's election year. Come on, we. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, people to vote, yo. Yeah. Vote, What's vote, going yo. on? And vote, vote, yeah. to vote, vote. Yeah, These reg- is our registration closed? Yeah, yeah. It's closed. It's closed. To my knowledge, I'm yeah, but I'm registered. I'm closed. nice. Next Next time time online, yeah. Registration closed on the weekend of the third and fourth of Feb. Talk to him. Hurry up. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are voting. Yeah. We're voting. Vote. 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 Metro, vote. Metro FM. Vote. Three vote. This time. What one? Yep. Yeah. We're voting. And it's one SMS for Metro. Like you know, you gotta know what yeah. goes. Yeah. Yes, please, <laughs> you know? y'all. I'm gonna put a poster. Do you know the SMS? Do you know the SMS number? To the Metro FM. Oh, I don't want to guess it. Nice. Wait, wait. I think I do. Four. Star one twenty four five seven eight seven hash, and then dial ninety nine. Nine nine. And then dial another ninety nine. Ninety nine. And then R and B should be option eighteen. Option eighteen. And la 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 should be option one. One. Yeah, there we are. Yo, that's We're one on that. So that's oh, impressive. Ninety nine. Yeah, that's hella impressive. Ninety nine. Eighteen. Option one. Yeah, unless like the dial thing that I told you to dial is not the thing that yeah. I just said. But yeah. yeah. Google the USSD. Oh, they yeah. don't do the, the SMS anymore. They do the SMS. Oh, no, they don't do yeah, the SMS. It's USSD now. Yeah, USSD. USSD. Um, but yeah, follow the prompts. I'm sure she'll, you'll have it in a caption somewhere I as will. well. I will, soon, soon. So yeah, follow Vote the prompts in the, the, in the caption. Over. And oh, guys. 19 April in your phones. We streaming. Stream up. Stream it up. Yeah. Run up the numbers. Pre, on pre, air. Pre save. On air. Pre save. Pre save and all that. Yeah. Thank you. And all of those things. Thank you for embracing our madness. Yeah. For real. Thank, Thank you for, you for being along. mad. Yeah. I needed it. It's mud farm. I went mud out. farm. Shout out to my mums. Bye. Bye. In a bit, yeah. Bye. In a bit. <gasps> bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Ha ha ha!